In this presentation, I'll be discussing the applications of a new technology known as mashups to bioinformatics, in particular its uses in the analysis of proteins. In bioinformatics, large volumes of biological data need to be collected, analysed and stored. And so in recent years we've seen the accumulation of a large number of databases and websites, such as the ones represented in this slide. In 2006, over 1,000 molecular biology servers were identified. To perform bioinformatics analysis, it is often necessary to visit a number of these different sites, so some means of integration of these disparate resources is required. Bioinformatics analysis can encompass a broad range of topics, but this presentation concentrates on protein analysis. Protein analysis can involve retrieval of information from various databases about the characteristics of a known protein. In addition, various protein prediction tools can be used if only a protein sequence is available. We currently have a number of different methods for protein anal analysis, from the simple to the more complex. At its most, most basic, we take the information from one website and paste it into another site for further analysis. There are also more complex methods such as scripting solutions and scientific workflow engines. For biologists without a knowledge of programming, more complex solutions may not be feasible. The use of mashups offers, offers a step in between simple cut and paste processes and the more complex approaches. A mashup is a web application for integrating the information from a number of different sources into a single application. In many cases, no programming knowledge is required to develop a mashup, and the basic components from one mashup can be used to develop other mashups. In the case of protein analysis, information from various protein databases or the results of protein predictions can be co combined into a single mashup. The mashups in this presentation can be used to retrieve characteristics about a known protein when a protein ID is provided or perform prediction when a protein sequence is provided. Mashups can be developed in a number of publicly accessible frameworks. The mashups discussed in this presentation were developed in Microsoft Popfly. Popfly allows the sharing and reuse of units known as blocks which perform a specific task. These blocks are linked together to form a mashup. The blocks developed for protein analysis are blocks for allowing user input and blocks for displaying the mashup results. We then have processing blocks to perform the type of protein analysis required. So in this slide we see the overall format for a protein by a mashup. The input is in the form of a protein ID or protein sequence. The input is then passed to processing blocks. These blocks may retrieve known information about a protein from a database or perform a protein prediction. The results from various processing blocks are then combined together and displayed. In the next part of this presentation, I will describe some of the data sources that are used by mashups. I will then outline the blocks that have been developed before concluding with a discussion of the mashups created. Firstly, a number of data sources are accessed by mashups to allow protein analysis to be performed. These data sources include Uniprot, NCBI and the Web API for Biology. Such sources provide access to various protein related databases. Other data sources include CBS and Embrace which offer protein prediction programs as web services. The KEG data source provides information about protein pathways and interactions. To develop protein mashups, a number of protein characteristics processing blocks have been developed. These blocks take a protein ID as input and retrieve known information from protein databases. As an example, the Uniprot database is accessed by the Protein Characteristics block. Other Protein Characteristics blocks are Protein Cross-References and KEG. Protein Prediction Processing blocks have also been developed. These blocks take a protein sequence 
as input and perform some form of protein prediction. The prediction may be performing a sequence alignment or predicting structural or functional characteristics such as predicting phosphorylation sites, signal peptides or transmembrane helices. Other protein prediction blocks predict simple protein sequence information such as molecular weight, predict the presence of motifs or the presence of O-glycosylation sites. The back translation block takes a protein sequence and makes a best estimate of the likely nucleic acid sequence. I will now discuss the mashups that have been created using the blocks described. This first mashup takes a protein ID and retrieves known characteristics about the protein from the various databases. The ID is passed from the user input protein block to the processing blocks protein characteristics, protein cross references, and KEG. Once the relevant information has been retrieved, it is combined using the combined block and displayed using the output protein information block. The results are displayed in a table such as the one shown here. This next mashup performs protein prediction. Once again the user supplies information to the user input protein block, only this time a protein sequence is supplied. The sequence is passed to protein prediction blocks back translation, PEP stats and motif prediction. Once the results have been predicted, they are combined and displayed using the output protein information block. The blocks have been designed in such a format that a single mashup is able to both retrieve protein characteristics and perform protein prediction. This is achieved by blocks which can be supplied with a protein ID and, pro and output a protein sequence and vice versa. In the first mashup seen on this slide, a protein ID is provided as input. An operation in the protein characteristics block is able to retrieve the relevant sequence for this protein. The sequence can then be passed to subsequent processing blocks for protein prediction. In the second mashup, a protein sequence is provided. The relevant protein ID is retrieved using the BLAST block and the protein ID can then be used in protein characteristics processing blocks. This final mashup shows combined retrieval of protein characteristics and protein prediction into a single mashup. Here the protein ID is passed to two protein characteristics block. One block retrieves known protein characteristics whereas the other simply retrieves the protein sequence. This sequence is then passed to protein prediction blocks PEP stats and signal P. All results are then combined and displayed. This mashup demonstrates the versatility of the block format and mashups in general. Blocks can therefore be used in many combinations to form a mashup depending on what information about a protein is required. In this presentation we have seen that mashups offer a new way to perform bioinformatics analysis. This analysis includes retrieval of protein characteristics in performing protein prediction. Mashups allow the integration of information from a number of different sources into a single application.